Hey guys, check it out. Today I've got the Banana Pie B Pie M1 Plus to check out. So let's do a quick unboxing here. As you guys know, I'm a big fan of the Banana Pies. They're um, a really nice board. It's, it's kind of the better version of the Raspberry Pis, and they're not that much more expensive. They come with some pretty cool features. Let's just see if I can get inside this and start showing them off. So there's the Banana Pi, B Pi M1 Plus. Uh, nothing else comes inside the box. There's no other instructions or anything. And as you can see from me tying this open, this is also my first look at the board. Okay, well, first impressions is it's a pretty nice looking device. I like that. Oh, you can see that it's meant to be orientated that way with the B Pi written there on it. This has the all winner A20 processor, which is an ARM Cortex A7 processor. This is the dual core version, the A20. It's running at one gigahertz. This has one gig of RAM. You can see it there. The form factor is a lot like the uh, Raspberry Pi. It's not much different. Uh, you can see here there is a bit of difference. There's uh, only two USBs as opposed to the four on the new B Plus models. It's got a, quite a number of pins here that looks at rough shot to be about 40 pins. Let's just check the other side and check out some of the soldering just to make sure that it's up to standard. Some of the soldering on here isn't great, and you can kind of see that. Oh, let's just let it focus here. You can kind of see that with those different colored pins. Now they're. I'd have to pull out the multimeter to see if it actually makes any difference, but at least on the GPIOs, it does it does make you wonder a little bit. All right. Any other soldering? I mean, it all looks like it's properly soldered. None of it looks like it's missing anything. It's just those ones are a little bit irregular compared to the evenness that you see, but you can see there's a QC past here, so I'm sure this board has been tested. All right, let's just do a quick little walk around here. So, as we said on the top of the board, we've covered the insides. Let's, oh, you know what? There's a bit that we haven't covered yet, which is the Wi-Fi module that's on there. But let's just do a quick little walk around. Do it that way. So starting in this corner here, we're going to start with the, this is the SATA power. This is the power in for the board. This is the SATA interface. So you can connect a hard drive directly there. This is HDMI. This is the uh, display ribbon. Well, the display ribbon goes in there. This is the display pinch for your display interface. It's called the LVDS RGB. So that's that. Uh, there's this little button here. Uh, I'm going to say that that's a, let me just have a closer look. doesn't actually say what that little button is, so I'll, I'll look into that. And you should see on screen now what it is. There's a debugging TTL UART here. This, and the reason I love the banana pies, this is a one gigabit Ethernet interface. So much faster than what you're going to get with a Raspberry Pi. These are USB 2s. As I've said in a previous video, you can't get USB 3 with ARMS at the moment, so this is limited to USB 2. Around the, I don't know if you can quite see that, that little piece there is the IR infrared receiver. This is the audio visual output, so this will do your um, audio you know, the uh, 3.5 millimeter jack, but it'll also do video if you wanted to do a yellow uh, video connector out of there as well. Just beside it, that little round thing is the mic. This is the uh, 40 pin connectors. And then we have, uh, as you can see here, we have a couple of buttons. So this button is the power button. This one's the reset button. And then here's the camera pinch, the camera interface. And then on the end here is the USB OTG, or the debugging port. Uh, so that's not your power, your power is that one, even though both ports uh, look a lot alike. Uh, this will allow you to connect 
uh, another device to this to treat this like a peripheral. Uh, this one will only power this device so it treats it like a computer. All right, flipping it over to the back side. You can see that this takes a micro SD. Oh, and you know what? That is actually the Wi-Fi module. It wasn't the one on the other side. That's actually the Wi-Fi there. Again, a beautiful little upgrade from the Raspberry Pi uh, that you get Wi-Fi already on the device. I mean, it just makes life that much easier. You don't have to worry about... You don't need to worry about which USB Wi-Fi device you're buying. I can see that there's a little radio extender there. Uh, so you can plug in an antenna. But this, this didn't come with an antenna. So... I'll need to find one of those if I want to extend it. Just checking for uh, anything else along the bottom here. No, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. You can see that they've gone with these four mounting holes, which again is more reminiscent of the Raspberry Pi, but uh, this certainly won't fit in any Raspberry Pi cases. The locations of these four screw holes are different to anything else. Okay, well, thanks for tuning in and watching. If you found this video particularly useful, you can buy me a coffee in the About section below. If you have any questions or comments, please post them in the comments below. Don't forget to check out my other Banana Pie and Raspberry Pi videos. There's lots of cool projects that you can undertake with one of these little devices. They're fantastic. And, you know, given that this has a gigabit Ethernet port, this one in particular is probably going to become uh, my home server. You know, I I really do like these things. Anyways, tune in next time. I hope to have uh, one of these up and operational, and I'll show you what booting it's like and, and some of the operations that you can do with these things. Fantastic little device. I already have two banana pies that I'm already using in my home network system. They're fantastic little devices. You should check out my other videos. You'll, you'll see some cool stuff for sure. So this is the Banana Pi M1. Don't forget that there's a Banana Pi M2, which I'll be doing a review of shortly. Uh, and I'm also going to be doing a comparison video so you can see the M1 and the M2, uh, sorry, the M1 Plus and the M2 side by side. You can check out the differences and see exactly which one would work best for you. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give my video a thumbs up if you liked it, a thumbs down if you disliked it, uh, or give me a high five if you ever see me in the street. Awesome. Thanks, guys.